This is Hamster Paradise Pure Heart, and you could say it's a pet simulator of sorts, where you simulate having a pet hamster. It's much simpler than other pet simulators, I think you could say, but that's a very good thing, because anyone who does not speak English could, I mean shoot, does not speak Japanese or read Japanese could probably easily play this. It's very accessible, and I like that. So this is the pre-game setup where you can choose, you know, what your character looks like, what their name is, and of course your pet hamsters and what their names will be. It's very easy through trial and error to figure out what all the options mean. There's a lot of stuff to interact with, but none of it is, like, incredibly complex. There are no battle systems or anything. You should probably name all your characters and your pets in, you know, English, so that way when something concerning them is mentioned, you know, you know when it happens. Because it kind of sticks out among the Japanese characters. I believe this is the fourth or fifth game in the Hamster Paradise series. I just chose this one because it seemed like it was the easiest to get into, and I really, really like the art style in this one. You know, those Hamtaro games on the Game Boy Advance? They're great, but after a while, they're just not enough anymore. You need to get your fix somewhere. So of course we need to pick which hamsters to take with us. All of them have different attributes and like different things, but I cannot read Japanese, so we're just going to go with the prettiest one, I think. His name's going to be Beans. Uh, there's also a difference between the small and large hamsters, though I have long forgotten what it is. You can also choose to take just one hamster, but this game is this game's not very taxing. It's impossible for your hamsters to die, and they're very easy to take care of, so, you know, there's no reason not to grab two of them. And one more, somewhat minor addition to the game is this dog popping up out of absolutely nowhere and demanding that you name it and take care of it. And by take care of it, uh, the game just means play with it using your hamster. I don't think you have to take care of it at all, I think it's just there to give your hamster some extra things to do, which is fine by me. It's cute. And I'm going to edit out the text tutorial because once again we cannot read Japanese, and we're just going to go ahead and get home. You get home, put our little hamsters in their little hamster house, and we're going to play with them. We're going to see how you interact with them. That obviously means day one. So there's their little home. There's a lot of stuff in here for them to interact with. That one's already grumpy. You can press B to bring up a roulette of options, and they will physically express dislike or interest in something. If they're jumping up and down happily, that means yes, brush me right now, why are you not brushing me already? That one really wants a bath which should be evident considering he was smelling his armpits. So the hamsters are really expressive. It's very easy to tell what they want. You don't need some sort of text blob to tell you what your hamsters need. Each hamster has a preference for a certain kind of food. You start out with a decent amount of food, but you do eventually need to buy more. You can figure out what your hamster's food preference is simply by how they react after eating. They do get jealous if you only feed one of them, understandably, so try not to do that or you'll start a fight. Some, sometimes they will paw at the walls for attention from you. Also yeah, you can play with the wheel and make them hop on it because you're fiddling with it. Here's how you make money, through little mini games. And we're gonna do the most interesting mini game first, as soon as I, as soon as I select it. It's a vertical shooter, with your little hamster buddy. Yeah, really. I think I think that's really absolutely adorable. It's not very hard, and as far as I know there's only one stage, but it's really adorable and it's a really fun way to make money for a game, you know, geared toward kids. It's not, it's not very stressful. This whole game is very relaxing. Very fun to play. Again, though, it's really simple. It's not something you sit down and play with for extended periods of time. It's something, you know, if you're waiting somewhere, you pull it out, make money for your hamster, play with them a little bit, and then you just turn it back off. 
And you know, I certainly would have loved to have this on my Game Boy, and so would my siblings. My siblings would, would love this game. It's, it's very fun, and it's very cute, and they would love it. So this minigame comes with a boss fight, which is of course a giant cat. Very big kitty. He has two he has two basic attacks, you just saw what both of them are. Not very hard to deal with, and he's the only oh I died. My little hamster buddy died. The background kinda reminds me of Zavis, only is that how you pronounce that? I'm sure someone will correct me. Anyway, you get money. Uh, most things, at most, cost a couple hundred, so it's not very hard to get the necessary money to do stuff you want to do. This second minigame right here <clears throat> is sort of... I'm not sure what you call these games. Things fall down and you need to catch them. It's one of those games, and you have to avoid hazards. You can jump pretty high, but there's a slight delay on the jump, so you have to time it very well. But yeah, it's one of these games. Oh, and it got sunlocked. Twice. There's not a lot to say, but I do like the strategy involved in this one, and how you have to be constantly aware of your surroundings, and sometimes the apples will bounce off branches, and sometimes they will bounce away from you, so you need to go to the very edge of the screen to catch them. It makes you, it makes you be hectic, it makes you jump for those big apples, and, you know, maybe that's not always the best decision, but again, there's no, like, really negative consequence to getting hit, you just lose a little bit of time. It's a very easy minigame. It really reminds me of a similar game on a Blue's Clues PC game that I, I wished I could pretend I hadn't played, but I did. It's actually pretty good. Pretty good for what it was. I don't know what it's called, though. For the most part, your hamsters will be fine as long as you occasionally interact with them and, you know, feed them. Those are important. But you can mostly do whatever you want with your hamster, and they won't throw too much of a fit about it. And again, they can't die either, so it's mostly just about, you know, messing with them. It's kind of a virtual toy of sorts, I guess I guess you could say. They do like you more if you do things they want to do, but we're not going to get to do everything they want to do because we're trying to show off the game right now. This guy really likes being brushed. This must be like the third time. The bigger hamsters and smaller hamsters also have different animations, like you wash the bigger hamsters by pouring a watering can on them, which I think is kind of adorable. Not sure why, uh, not sure why you ran into the wall there, but uh, you don't need to do that to get our attention, I promise. Alright, well the sun's starting to set, so kind of really, really need to get to that last minigame. This last one's a tile puzzle. Uh, they're sorted out a different way each time, but there are only six pieces. So it's not like a huge tile puzzle. Doesn't mean I won't get stuck though. Doesn't mean I won't get stuck. But yeah, this is, they only use these six pieces, I believe. I believe this is the only puzzle in the game. Maybe you can buy or unlock more. I have not played this game in a while. I, com I completely screwed. You know what? We're, we're just gonna pretend I finish this really, really fast, regardless of what the timer says, because I'm gonna jump ahead here. And you get the same amount of money for doing that as you do for any of the other mini games, I believe. And it's nighttime now, which means they're gonna want to go to bed fairly soon. So the game would be a reasonable enough distraction, reasonable enough portable- Oh, he- Oh, God. Why did he do that? The game would be a reasonable enough distraction, you know, reasonable enough portable game, with just this little hamster hideout to play with. But you can take your hamsters outside and interact with things outside, which is what we're going to do tomorrow. We don't have time right now, because it's getting too late. This guy really, really likes brushing. Yeah, there we go. Beans is starting to get tired. You can look inside their little house to see if they're goofing around in there. Come on. In spite of the seeds, they won't actually eat them. I think they're just for decoration. 
There we go. Alright, so day two. No fooling around. We're gonna get straight outside. We're gonna go explore that big wide world out there. Uh, your hamsters will almost never object to going outside, and sometimes they really want to go outside, they will ask you to. You can't keep them cooped up all the time. Alright, so we're gonna go in the park right here, if you want to call it that. There are a few things for the hamster to interact with in the park. It depends on what they choose. You can't force them to choose something. This one just wants to sit... Beans just wants to sit on the bench right now. So we're just gonna spend some time on the bench with Beans. And the little blue text and the numbers mean he enjoyed it and his stats went up. A uh, rather annoying thing is that it sends you back into the tiny hamster house after you perform any activity outside. I guess that's because it's really supposed to be super portable. Yeah, they're stuck. They'll figure it out. Hold on. Hold on, they'll get it. There we go. Oh, oh, he just, he just crapped right on the floor. So, the town isn't enormous, but there are a reasonable number of things you can interact with in it. And we're gonna let, uh, oh my god, I forgot his name. We're gonna let Buddy interact with Rups here. There we go. Depending on the size of your hamster, I think it interacts with them differently. <sighs> I forgot about the poop. But yeah, you can build relationships between your hamsters and your dog. And anything you do, stop it. Anything you do outside builds your relationship with your hamster. There, the town is very small, but more things to do open up as the game goes on. Most of the houses that initially seem empty or like you can't interact with them, eventually they will have things to do inside them. I don't know why I can't pick up that coconut. There are very few character models, character sprites I guess you could say, uh, but there are some little mini quests I guess if you want to call them that. I'm going to go right over here to the left and show you one. It's a, tr it's a classic one, you know. You're the RPG character listening in on the arguing couple, and you have to dissolve their dispute somehow. Or resolve, I should say. So she goes running off somewhere. We're clearly supposed to go find her, but we don't have time for that because I'm trying to show you the rest of the town. These empty plots of land are also covered eventually too. Alright, right in here... Nope, go back. Go back, me. Right in here's the store where you buy food and, I think, a toothbrush, and other things as well as the game continues. But yeah, this is where you buy food at, which is very important. You can't not feed your hamster. They won't die, but they will become so, so incredibly angry at you that you will not be able to do anything with them. I would be angry, too, if, like, my, my, like, deity decided just not to feed me because they wanted to go outside all day. That would really anger me. Alright, so, you can watch little movies made for hamsters. Hamu movies, as they are called, apparently. I have no idea what that one is supposed to be, but I like to imagine it is somehow related to 2001 A Space Odyssey. There's one that's clearly a parody of the Titanic, which I think is very cute. Over here is a little center where you can play the same games that you have in your house for some reason, if you want to go outside and do that. I can't tell if there's another difference. The games don't seem to be different in any way. They seem to be exactly the same. But yeah, we just ran around most of the town, so it's not a very large town, but again, there are more things to interact with the more you play. So it's not like it's just completely empty or anything. And we're gonna let Buddy... No, that's not Buddy. I was gonna, I was gonna say we're gonna let Buddy interact with the park, but Buddy screwed up. Nothing wrong with Beans playing in the park again. This is the one of the other interactions in the park. Again, you choose an option, and depending on your hamster's personality and skills, uh, he might either like it or hate it. But yeah, we have not fed them all day, I think. I think we need to feed them. We have also not brushed them or bathed them. That's kind of bad. It was all for the it was all for the sake of this video though. I hope you appreciate the sacrifice Beans and Buddy have made for you. 
because now I have to try and cram a day's worth of affection into a few minutes. But yeah, that's Hamster Paradise, Pure Heart, and he just ran into the wall again. That obviously isn't the whole game, as I said there's more you can do, but I think you got the basic idea of how it works. And it looks like Buddy over here is heading to bed, which means it's time for the video to end too. Thanks for watching.